Hello kindergarten scientists. We have been learning about solids and liquids. Today we're going to review some vocabulary words. We will review together the academic and content vocabulary for this unit. We'll study word meanings and take a look at examples to help you understand the work that you will be doing during your science lessons this week. Let's get started. What is academic and content vocabulary? Academic vocabulary are words you may find in some of the focuses and questions for the lesson. These words can be found in other subject areas as well. What is content vocabulary? They're words specific to understanding these science lessons. Academic vocabulary. Our academic vocabulary word is observation. This word can be found in the lesson objective. The lesson objective says, students will investigate how to change solid water, ice, into a liquid by changing the temperature. Students will make an observation over time. What does observation mean? To closely look at something. Here's an example of observation in a sentence. When observing the ocean, I notice it doesn't stay still. That's something that I noticed when I was at the beach. It moves back and forth, back and forth. What is something you've observed or looked closely at? Try to use observation in a sentence. Now we're going to take a look at the content vocabulary words. Here are some of the words you'll be learning about during your science lessons for this week. States of matter, temperature, melt, freeze. States of matter. These are three, there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Take a look at the pictures below. There's a picture of a glass of water, and the state of matter is liquid in that first picture. The next picture is a picture of a solid. It's water that's frozen, so it's ice. And the last picture is a state of matter, which is in the gas form. It's water that has been, that's evapor evaporating. It turned to gas. Listen as I read the sentence. Water can change to all three states of matter. Can you think of something else that can change states of matter, that can go from a liquid to a solid, or a liquid to a gas? Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Listen as I read the sentence with the word temperature in it. The ice pops did not melt because the temperature in the dish of ice was freezing. It was very cold. What is something you have touched that felt cold to you, or hot, or warm? All those words tell the temperature of something. Try using temperature in a sentence. Our next word is melt. Melt is changing something from a solid to a liquid. The ice cream began to melt onto my fingers. Can you think of something that has melted before? Try using melt in a sentence. And here's our next word, freeze. It's when something turns to a solid or becomes hard because it is in temperature that is extremely cold. Listen to the word used in the sentence. After she had freezed the blueberries, she bit into one and it was no longer soft. Try using the word freeze in a sentence. Now that you're familiar with these awesome words, you'll be able to use and understand them during your learning. I hope you enjoyed this video.